I am so excited to let you know what's going on this month. So I know last month I mixed it up a little bit and I gave you lucky days, like which chakra to work on, all that stuff. I did pull all that information for you for the month of February, but I wanted to do your reading um, kind of the way that I used to, just like what is going on? Um, what do you need to be aware of? And maybe I'll make a separate video or I might um, release that information either through email, which you can sign up for my email list at my website, or by Facebook. Um, if you like the page, then you'll that'll show up in your feed. So anyway, um, the one exception I'm going to do is just let you know what your luckiest days and unluckiest days for the month are straight out the gate. And your unluckiest day is the 3rd of February, and your luckiest day is the 11th. So let's just see what is it that Aquarius needs to know in the month of February. Um, okay. So first thing that we have is the five of swords and then this guy and then a couple more things just jumped right out of the deck. So with this one here, it's like, okay, so there are things that are not easy to do and therefore you're having a hard time doing them. You might be afraid, even though you know it's the best thing for you, um, to hurt other people and the actions that you take. And so a lot of your fears are kind of um, creating this jail for you, right? Like you're just sitting here kind of wondering, okay, should I do this, even though it's for my benefit, because it might hurt other people. And what they're saying here um, is that sometimes you have to do the things that are hard in order to get positive outcomes. Sometimes people need to be told, you know, hey, um, I know it hurts to hear this, but so that the old structures, the old way of doing things can be torn down and the new better ways of doing things can be put in their place. This tower here is um, interesting actually in this deck because it's made up of TVs and you know different forms of media. But what they're saying here is like your third eye knows that you need to do the right thing here even though it's... Um, <laughs> you know, not necessarily exciting. It'll be painful. You're, you're kind of like jumping off of this mountain. Um, you're afraid of what other people are going to think. But oftentimes these structures have to come down in order for something new and better to be built in their place. Something that's not on fire, that isn't going to fall over. And they're saying that you're concerned about your long-term future, your long-term plans and goals. Um, when this card is upright, the Ten of Discs, you know, this person... Um, is obviously well nourished, right? Um, they, in their hands, have created, you know, not only with the power of the universe, spirit, God, Allah, whatever, um, a lot of things in the tangible world that are good for them. And then that's the fear, that's the reason why you're not speaking up and why you're not um, doing what's right for you, because you're afraid it will affect you in the long term, that it'll inhibit you from achieving the things that you want to achieve, um, from getting the things that you want to have, from reaching your goals. And so what they're saying is, though, that you do really need to, this month in February, be this Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is the kind of person who says, okay, here are the facts, okay? Based on the past, based on the present, this is what I know. And when I speak the truth, sometimes it hurts. But honestly, I need to communicate this in order to create that change. And they're saying that um, straight out the gate with this emergence card in reverse, you might not see the benefits of it. You might only see the pain. You might only see the chaos. You might only see um, the difficulty and the challenges here. You might be more focused on your fears than the benefits, but it is something that you need to do. It is time to speak up. They're saying if you are going to be of the mindset that things are um, hopeless, that this doesn't help you to achieve the things that you want to achieve longer term, well, then that's maybe the reality that you're going to manifest. And so you can't be of that mindset. You can't be thinking that way. They're saying the things that you want, because the Nine of Cups is known as the wish card, right? The things that you want are out there for you, but you have to remember that the reason why you're doing something is because it's the right thing. The reason why you're calling attention to something that is not necessarily right or just or fair is for not only your benefit, but for the benefit of other people. And yes, it will, it might hurt, you know, it might hurt some people. But the thing is, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. This person isn't dead. This isn't blood on the ground. This is a cape. 
You know, this is fabric laying on the ground. He's going to be okay. It's going to hurt for a minute, but everybody is going to be okay. It is just time with all the swords energy to speak about um, whatever isn't working, whatever isn't right. And what they're saying here is you have to take this action pretty immediately. It's not a time for rest. It's something that you need to um, stop thinking about, stop worrying about, and just do. They're saying having this Princess of Wands energy, it, which is very similar in its imagery to the strength card, um, is what you want to embrace. You know, she's conquered this tiger here on the floor. She's passionate. She's excited. She knows what she wants. And then look at what the branches here. There's still growth on the branches, even though she's plucked it off of the tree. Things will grow from this in a beautiful way. And if you have the enthusiasm and the bravery and the excitement to just do this, you see how these flames kind of are like angel wings? You have the universe supporting you in that. And what they're saying is, you know, this is actually a gift. That if you are to speak the truth, to call attention to the things that are not right, that need changing, you shall be repaid for those things. Um, that six energy is often about balance. So it's like what you give out, you get back. And, um, you know, if you want to live in an environment that is fair, that is honest, you know, where people do the right thing, then it is up to you actually to be that example this month in February. And so where is this kind of hitting for you? Um, <laughs> and first thing, they're just like, uh, you know, like we wanted, we just want to remind you that changes aren't going to happen immediately, but they're saying that the porcupine energy is where this should be hitting. It's saying you should be able to defend yourself honorably without hurting those really close to you. So sure, people won't like it, but it might not be as painful for them as you think it will be. Okay? Now, I want, because this is a difficult energy, I wanted to um, pull a type of meditation card for you. And they're saying pray about it. Absolutely pray about this. Um, and when you go to pray, it's not just like saying, Dear God, Here's what I want. Here's what I expect. Um, they're saying really embrace the humility and like putting things into God or the universe or Allah's hands. Like whatever, whoever it is you pray to or whatever your form of prayer is. For some people, they don't formally pray. They meditate, whatever, asking your higher self then. But it's saying you need to admit your own faults um, and your mistakes, your part in this. But then also ask, you know, the universe, God, whatever, for forgiveness in your part and any pain that you have inflicted on others, whether that was intentional historically or unintentional. And so they're saying, um, you know, in your prayer, ask for happiness and a positive uh, result, not only for yourself, but for other people involved. And this can also temper that energy. What else is going on for you in February? Um, they're saying, okay, so a lot of you are having a hard time trying to really focus on what it is that you want and being hopeful that you can achieve it despite all of this kind of chaos energy. They're saying a lot of you are more focused on the pain. And this is just another time where they're reminding you, kind of calling you out and saying, if that's what you're going to focus on, then that's how you're going to feel and that's what you're going to get. So ultimately, you do have the choice. It might not be the easiest month for many Aquarius. However, you get to decide how you're going to feel about things. And um, again, same cards, the emergence card here in reverse, where it's just like, do you want to frame this in a positive light or do you want to wallow? Up to you. Your decision. Um they're saying you don't have to have these fears and these worries about it. It's it's not healthy for you. It doesn't benefit you. To sit and worry about things, really, if it does anything, is it causes you more stress, strain, anxiety, and harm. It doesn't change an outcome, so knock it off. They're saying with the Princess of Discs here that this might just be, even though what you had maybe thought about or planned for might fall apart in the midst of all of this chaos, is it might be a really awesome opportunity where like, ding, an epiphany goes off in your head and you have this new idea that will help you to get on a new course. Maybe we have to let old dreams die and create new ones. It is exactly... Um, the right time for this. And if you're open, if you kind of put your hands out, you know, if if you're saying through prayer, hey, I'm ready to receive some good ideas. Here's where I messed up. And I can acknowledge that. And, you know, I'm also 
looking for forgiveness, you know, from God, the universe, whatever, as well as the people involved in this, not saying that any of this is really your fault, but you might feel a little bit of guilt associated to calling people out. Um, then you've got your hand right here open to receive these blessings, this insight that'll put you on a different trajectory. Now, um, I want you to notice here with this purple flower, do you see how it's just shining this light? straight into her third eye. So pay attention to signs in nature, actually. Um, I would also pay attention to color energies. And like I said, I wanted to talk about your color energies, um, maybe in a different video, or I'll put that on Facebook or put that out in the emails. But um, I would pay a lot of attention to my surroundings, to the things that are around me that are physical objects or things in nature, um, as well as colors. They're saying here that you've already kind of shifted your perspective in a lot of ways. And so you've embraced this hanged man energy. And as a result, you can feel confident, okay? You can feel content and secure so long as you are connecting to the universe and asking for that guidance. So let me just switch decks here and let's see, what am I feeling? I tend to pick my decks in advance, but um, this specific instance, I think I want to go with a different one. So um, let's see here. They're saying you need to examine your personal interactions. And this is also in a very grounded, earthy sort of way with the color here, that burgundy, auburn type color. And so it's saying, you know, what are you giving to others? Like, are people appreciating your company, your advice, your guidance? Um, are they noticing it? And, you know, if that's the case and they're not, you know, if you're kind of feeling icky because you're like, hey, look, I gave a gift to you and you didn't even say thank you, then it's time to evaluate a couple of things. Number one, what is your reason for giving that? Was it for the applause, for the praise, or because it was the right thing to do? Um, secondly, you know, is this a person you want to continue to keep giving to? Is this even a job you want to keep giving to? If you continue to work at a place because it seemed like a long-term strategy for something that you wanted, like, oh, if I stick around, like, at some point, I'll have a good amount of money to retire, but you don't feel appreciated, is that something you can really do for the long term? Those are things that you want to think about. Do you feel empowered by what you give away? Does it make you feel good just because you did it, even if nobody says thank you? Or do you feel disempowered? And if you're feeling disempowered, then it's time to reevaluate, okay? So what is it that Aquarius has to look forward to in the month of February? And they're saying, well, a lot of deep reflection on things. I'm kind of getting to know your inner self and what's important to you like at the most basic level like here's who I am and what I want to do and my morals and you know what's important to me and then kind of standing there and going okay well based on that what are the benefits for me like what am I investing my time and my energy in because I know that I can get things from this you know, but is it actually worth it? Is it? Is this something that I'm still excited about? Is this still the plan for me? So you have a lot of, um, this might be a very mental month for a lot of Aquariuses, a lot of things to think about, but you can do it. Just remember to stay focused on a positive end goal and focus a lot on how you're feeling so that you have the best outcome. Lots of love. and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20-minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!